Hello there again, everyone, and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We have a little problem here. We have somebody who likes to buy and sell horses. <laughs> it's, a, it's just a really a simple little math problem, but um, uh, or maths problem if you're from the UK. Um, so I bought a horse for eight hundred dollars. I sold the horse for a thousand dollars. I bought the horse again for eleven hundred dollars. And I sold the horse again for $1,400. How much did I earn? Um, this is a little problem I saw on Facebook a couple years ago. Um, just wanted to go through this one again. So if you'd like to work this one out on your own and come back, uh, we will go through this together and get the correct answer. So you could pause the video if you'd like. Uh, you may already know the answer and did it in your head, which is awesome. But uh, go ahead. Pause if you'd like, and we'll solve this together. All right, so um, one way you can look at this problem is you recognize, first of all, that he bought and sold tw two different times. He bought and sold and then bought and sold again. So really what you can do is you can look at each of these transactions, look at each of the buy and sell transactions uh, separately, uh, and you realize that the first time he bought and sold, well, he bought for 800 <clears throat> and sold again for 1,000. So uh, 1,000 minus 800 is 200. So we know he made $200 uh, after this first sale. Um, then we had another buy and sell here where he bought for $1,100 and sold for 1,400. So uh, you could subtract 1100 from 1400 That's $300. Well, how much did he earn altogether? Um, we're, not, we're not concerned about food. We're not concerned about shelter, transportation costs, all that. We're just looking at these raw numbers here. That's it. So you could easily just add the 200 and 300 and you get $500. So it's fairly simple. $500. Now... Let's imagine that he bought the horse for $800. None of this stuff happened in between. He bought it for $800, sold it for $1,400. Well, in that case, it would have been $1,400 minus $800. He would have earned $600. But you got to keep in mind, when he sold the horse for $1,000 here and he bought it again for $1,100, he had to come up with another $100. We don't know where he came up with it from. He might have had that in his wallet, might have had it sewn in his mattress at home. He might have had it in the bank. He might have, might have found a $100 bill laying in the street. None of that stuff matters. The, the fact that he bought the horse twice, once for $800, once for $1,100, tells us that somehow he had the money somewhere to pay for all this. So we're not concerned about that. We're only concerned about what he paid and how much he made each time. That's all we're concerned about. And that's all anybody really needs to check. So he could have made a possible $600. But since he did you know, have to go back and buy it again uh, for a little bit more than he sold it for the first time, he ended up you know, having to come up with an extra 100 So that's why he only made the $500. Um, Sometimes that's a little bit, bit confusing, but uh, you can definitely look at it that way. You know, another easy way to look at this problem would be to say, well, add up how much money he spent, add up all the uh, money he made from selling, and then find the difference between those two. So we know he bought the horse for 800 uh, he bought the horse here for 1100 so we know he spent 800 we know he spent 1100 he spent a total of $1,900. Um, again, where'd the money come from? We don't know. He Somehow he had it, right? We don't know. Uh, the total money coming in was 1000 plus 1400 because he sold the horse for 1000 here. He sold the horse for 1400 here. 1000 plus 1400 is 2400 So the amount that he earned altogether was 2400 That's how much he made. Minus how much he spent, nineteen hundred. Uh, well, he got five hundred dollars. Uh, that's how much he made. He so, uh, you know, he he came out ahead five hundred dollars total. 
So, uh, yeah, that's you know fairly easy. So um, I, I have seen a lot of answers from some people saying, you know, that he lost money because he bought the horse for more the second time. Um, you know, that's, that's not true. Um, this is really simple. You could easily do a checkbook ledger, um, checkbook register. Uh, it is simple addition and subtraction as all this is. So if you're able to balance a checkbook, you should be able to get the correct answer here of, uh, of $500. It doesn't matter how much money he had to start with. He obviously had enough money to uh to make those purchases so anyhow i don't want to dwell on this one too long this is a very very simple problem uh the answer is five hundred dollars um if uh you're not sure about that you know you can rewind this go back check the math again uh, maybe count pennies uh do something like that to uh to make that more clear but anyhow um i appreciate everybody who watches and uh likes and shares these videos uh you know please consider subscribing it really really does help me out all the subscriptions um the way youtube works uh the more the better honestly um so i can keep making these these videos and i'd like to like to expand maybe and make some more uh videos cover some more topics as well so anyhow i appreciate all of your time and look forward to seeing everyone in the next video have a good day